Hi, I'm Tim Fowler with Century Roofing. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining how we do a normal roof inspection. We're taking a look at a roof for a new customer, uh, decide how we're going to handle helping them out uh, and fixing their issues. First place that we go when we're looking at a roof to inspect it, we start on the inside. Uh, take a look at where it's leaking, try and look at the roof deck if that's possible, check for any safety issues, and find out how severe the leaks are and, and what their issues really are that we're, we're dealing with. So with that, we'll start in this next room. There's an active leak and we're gonna be uh, uh, taking a look at that to see what we find. This is the office where the leak is at. And right up here, I can see that there's some staining on the, on the ceiling, uh, that they have had leaks. Uh, but it's not so bad to this point where it's causing major damage, uh, which tells me the leak really isn't that bad yet, so we shouldn't probably see any structural damage. Um, and we also would go through a series of questions with the customer about when it leaks, uh, what the outside conditions were, if it leaks all the time, only in the winter time, to help diagnose where that leak is coming from once we get up on the roof. Now, after we look at this, if it's possible, we want to take a look at the deck from the underside to see if we can find out what kind of roof deck is up there and whether or not it's in good shape and the structural is overall in good shape. So on that, we'll go on out here where I know we can see the roof deck in the warehouse area. And when we come out here, I can see the structure above me. I know that this is the section of roofing I'm going to be looking at from looking at the building from the outside before I came in. And there's a steel deck with wood joists. I'm not seeing any major rust on the steel. I'm not seeing any rotted wood joists, uh, which tells me that they probably just have the one leak. There aren't other leaks that they're not reporting. And that this, the, the roof is safe for me to go ahead and get up on and do a rooftop inspection. Um, I'll also just take a general look around, see if there's any other conditions uh, that might be causing a leak, such as heated areas that don't have insulation or something like that. So from here, we'll get up on the roof and we'll start our inspection. Okay, now we're up on the roof and uh, we're doing our initial inspection. So first thing I'm gonna look at is the membrane itself. Uh, this happens to be a white PVC roof. Uh, make sure that there's no issues with the membrane, there's no cracks, I don't see any obvious holes and that the seams are not coming apart. And I can see the seams look like they're in good shape. When we're looking at the roof membrane itself, uh, we're gonna look for holes or any sign of deterioration. There's no deterioration in this membrane, but what I am noticing is we have a couple of cracks here. There's a little one here, another little one here. Uh, this is either from stress to the membrane and age, or could be from some sort of impact damage, either hail strikes or a fly ball hitting the roof. From there, We'll start to look at the flashings, and then we'll get to where we uh, take a look at the specific leak area uh, after we've just done a, a general inspection for obvious issues and see if we can find something going on right there. One thing I'm noticing while I'm on this roof, it does hold water, so there's ponding water here. If the customer had complained about it leaking uh, for a long time after a rain, or if it leaks when it's not raining, uh, this, could be, this could mean that the leak actually is occurring underneath the water. Uh, and if we do a re-roofing project on this, we're gonna wanna try and create positive drainage to get this water off if it's at all possible for the building. So the leak area was over here and it came from just over beside this skylight. So I'm gonna check and see if we have any issues with the roof. In an initial inspection, right now I'm not seeing any holes uh, from the area where it was leaking. The sealant, while it is a little bit dirty and obviously has been on here for a while, looks like it is solid around this skylight and the skylight doesn't have any obvious cracks or leaks associated with it. So, because I didn't find any holes or other issues, I'm gonna get a, a probe and check the seams, see if I have any issues with the seams. While inspecting this, I noted that the leak was a couple of feet in this direction from this skylight. And in looking down here and checking this out, I have several patches that have been made to this roof, which means it's probably been a problem area before. 
and uh, I need to check these, make sure there's no issues with them, and see if there's any other uh, problems. So I'll take a, a probe and just run around these seams, make sure there's no issues with these patches. Yep, and on this one I note there is a lift here that goes on in. This could be the cause of our leak. Um, if it turns out that that doesn't go all the way into the roofing system, then I'll be looking for something else. But right now I'm gonna say this is probably our culprit on this particular leak. We're gonna check this one, pull this seam so we find any bad spots. Oh, and we have a lift right here. And that's got dirt in it. And the dirt tells me the water's been flowing into this seam, which the water carries the dirt with it. If it was completely clean in there or mostly clean, I'd say the water wasn't really flowing that direction. With all this dirt in there and mud, I'm gonna say that this is an active leak into the building. One of the next things we're gonna check when we're looking at a roof uh, is the outside of the roof. This is one of the critical points where it goes over the outside edge, whether it be a gutter, just a straight termination bar, or like we have here, with this decorative cover on top of it. Um, if there's sealant on the top, we wanna to make sure that that sealant's good so the water isn't getting back behind and uh, working at the screws. Uh, we also wanna check and make sure that it appears to be tight to the building and they're not coming loose. Uh, if any of this is loose, it'll need to be repaired because if uh, a windstorm comes up uh, or anything like that, this is gonna be your first fail point for a roof to start to blow off of a building and also have water drive in to create a leak inside the building. This all looks pretty solid here. I don't see any issues with the other flashings uh, down this edge. So I'm gonna say that they're doing really well. Uh, when we're looking at a roof, uh, some other things that we wanna look at are the flashings and anything else that's on the roof that might leak that's not roofing related. Uh, so here we have a standard pitch pan detail to let the line set from an air conditioning unit get into the roof. Uh, first thing I'm gonna check is make sure that the sealant on the top of the pitch pan is solid. Uh, there's no cracks, it hasn't sunken in so that it's holding water. Uh, this one looks good. The, the caulking is tight around the pipes. Uh, it's built up so water landing on it's gonna shed off. Uh, so we're good here. Then we're gonna inspect down at the bottom of these, make sure there's no cracks or tears in the flashing. We don't see any lifts or anything on the skirt around the flashing and that there's no other issues. On the stack flashing beside me here, we're also gonna be checking the sealant at the top to make sure that water's not getting in and that the pipe itself hasn't been damaged, allowing water into the building. From there, we're gonna go over to our skylights. We have this round one and this square one here, and we're gonna do the same thing with the curbs. We're gonna check around the curb, make sure there's no issues with it. The sealant is solid. Again, this sealant is dirty, but it's in good shape. It's stuck well, and there's no breaks or cracks in it. But then I'm also gonna check the skylight itself, see if there's moisture inside, if I see any cracks, uh, or if I see any condensation or anything inside. This one looks excellent. No issues with this skylight. This one over here is a square skylight. Same thing, but it has the flashing at the top. I'm gonna see if there's any cracks or issues with the outside here. Uh, check the uh, curbs where I can see them because this one ponds a little bit of water uh, and, and make sure there's no issues. But then I'm gonna look at the skylight itself. This has no cracks or obvious issues with it except for the fact that I can see water condensating on the inside of the skylight. That means at some point in time, water's gotten into the skylight and has uh, evaporated and is now condensating on the top. So we have a leak in the skylight itself that could eventually get into the building. It doesn't mean that it's a roofing issue, but the skylight has an issue. It needs either to be resealed or have the skylight itself replaced to make sure that the roof stays solid. The next item on our checklist of things to look at when we're inspecting a roof is gonna be anywhere where we have a transition to a wall or another type of roofing. This parapet wall, I'm gonna not just wanna make sure that there's no holes and no issues with how it's flashed, no missing sealant. I'm also gonna take a look at the wall above the roof to make sure that there's no holes in that or any issues with this. If there was a pipe going into here and the sealant wasn't good on that, you can have a roof leak without actually having water getting through the roof. 
So taking a look at this wall, I don't see any issues. The metal is solid. This is held well and the flashing comes up underneath and everything is tight here. So we have a good parapet flashing here. The last thing that we're typically going to do on a roof, especially if we're doing a re-roofing quote, is take a core sample so that we know what's under this membrane and on top of the deck. If there's more than one layer of roofing uh, or if it's saturated and there's water in the system uh, or if there's some other issue, we may need to tear this roof off before re-roofing it. So we're going to get down, we're going to take a core sample on this. First thing we're going to do is clean the membrane real quickly so that after we take our core sample, we can get it sealed up. And the next thing that we're going to do is now that we have a clean spot in the membrane, it gives us the ability to look at it just a little bit better to make sure we don't see any deterioration. Again, this membrane looks like it's in good shape, but we are going to go ahead and take our core. So mark the hole there. We're going to cut the top layer of membrane so that we can get our core tool through. Look at the back side of the membrane to make sure that it looks like it's aging too, and the insulation. Once we take that core out, we can pop it out and see what kind of insulation we have. This is polyiso. It's a insulation with a fiberglass facer that helps uh, stabilize the board and works as an ignition barrier if there's an external fire. And looking down through here, I can see the deck. It looks solid. We're going to take a measurement to see how thick this core is so we know how much insulation is on the building and whether or not it meets current building code for insulation. And then lastly, because we don't want to create more leaks, we're going to seal this back up so that our customer doesn't have any extra leaks on the building. Now based on the roof type, we might be doing permanent patches here. We might be using asphalt and mesh to reseal this. But since this is a vinyl roof and uh, this roof is going to be replaced soon, we're just going to do a temporary repair with caulking. Now that we're done inspecting the roof, we know what the rooftop conditions are, uh, what they have here. We'll take a count on curb flashings, uh, what else is up on the roof, and then we'll get some aerial measurements of the building uh, as long as they're available. We'll check that out. We'll be able to put it together a whole quote for the customer, either for repairs, replacement, and anything else they might need on their rooftop. We finished our roof inspection. I've got all the information I need to know what's happening on this roof and what the issues are. So once again, this is Tim Fowler with Century Roofing, and this is how you do a roof inspection.